Hey, now it's another beautiful day. It's an awesome day today. It's bright and sunny outside on the balcony. Thank you for showing up today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking in. Appreciate it very much. Today, I want to talk about being an encourager. And if you're here for the very first time, this is Strength for Today's Man. We are in volume 120. We've been here 120 days. And we have a few more days to hit 365. I want to go to Colossians 3.21, where it says, Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. I want you, those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, to be an encourager. It don't take much energy to discourage anyone. We have enough of that as it is. We got people that come along, they're negative, they're cynical, they're critical. They're just downright dead in the dumps with their attitude. They don't have nothing good to say. They don't have nothing nice to say. They always killing your dreams. They're dream stillers. They're always talking negative about what you're doing, what somebody else is doing, what they say, what you say, what you're wearing, what you're not wearing. It doesn't matter with them. They've already said in their minds that they're going to be negative. So you have to be the one to be the encourager. You have to set the mode of the day. You have to set the mood of the day. You have to be the one to step up and be the encourager. Here in this particular scripture today, the truth of this verse extends far beyond the relationships that a father and a son has. As men of God, As women of God, we should not provoke anyone. There's people out there, they don't care what they say to you. They just provoke you to anger. They just provoke you to where you just want to sock them up. But what did Paul mean by provoke? Earlier in this particular chapter here in Colossians, Paul told the Colosh to put off the things that lead to spiritual death. And what were some of those? Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, and lying. He says that each of these behaviors are provoking in nature. Who do you know that possesses these types of behaviors? When we respond in these ways to the people in our lives, we are bound to discourage them. We don't want to discourage anyone. We want to be the ones to lift them up up. Yeah, you're going to be looked at as a goody two-shoe if that's considered something to say nowadays, being that we're in 2023. But it doesn't matter. People are going to look at you like you are just a square. You're just an L7. Once we have taken off the things that lead to discouragement and death, you know what we need to do? We need to replace them. We do this when we put on the following characteristics, tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, forgiveness of one another, and love. We are to be ruled by the peace of God. Let Christ's word live within us. Sing spiritual songs to one another. Now, I'm sure you're not going to be sitting around your job singing spiritual songs to one another, but you can sing within your heart. You can sing on the inside things that please God, and that will uplift you. And being that you're uplifted from the inside, the outside is going to display whatever your countenance are on the inside. So if you are happy on the inside, People are going to see that. You're going to be happy on the outside. Everything we do, let it be done for the glory of God. Everything in the name of Jesus. When we do not provoke others, we encourage them to come to us and be in a relationship with us. People will be able to approach you because you are lovable. The reason why people don't have friends today, because they don't show themselves friendly. Look at the people in your office. Who's the negative one there? Who's the humbug in the office? Try something different. Try to change that atmosphere. Try to be the one to encourage them. 
They'll come with discouraging words. Flip the script. Say all manners of kindness. Say a lot of things that are nice. Say things that will cancel out their discouragement, that will cancel out their negative attitude. You have to be the one to stand up and be the one that encourages other people. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. It's going to take a little work, but you can do it. With God on your side, you can change your office. You can change your home. You can change your school. You can change your neighborhood. You can change your community. It just goes from there, but it starts with you. Starts on the inside. What's going on in here? When we have relationships with people, because of the love that we show, because of our friendly attitude, because of our friendly nature, they will grow to trust us. And in turn, they will demonstrate this new outfit to those around them. Be an encourager. Be the one that sets the tone in the workplace, in the home. Be the one that lifts everyone else up. Be the encourager. Let me close with this. Father, help me evaluate the way I speak with the people around me. I want to be encouraging to them. Give me an opportunity today to be humble, forgiving, peaceful, and kind. That's what an encourager is. This is Strength for Today's Man, volume 120. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on the next podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the channel, and share the channel with someone else. Don't keep it to yourself. Share the wealth. You guys be blessed. I'll see you soon. Whoa.